Look at this e-commerce website. It looks super clean and professional. It has a fully functional home page with product listing, a product details page where user can check descriptions, prices and images. There's a working cart system to add and remove items and a secure checkout page to complete orders. It even has an admin panel where I can manage all the products like adding, editing or deleting them. And the craziest part, I did not even write a single line of code to build this. I create this entire website using Amarjad, an AI tool that builds full websites and apps just from a single prompt. This tool is not like the other tools available in the market that only build the front-end and a bit of the back-end. It builds full-stack apps complete with front-end, back-end and database. In today's video, I'll show you exactly how I build apps like this with AI step by step. We'll start simple with a portfolio website, then a full e-commerce store and at the last, we build a stock market tracker mobile app. By the end, you'll see why this is one of the most powerful AI coding agent available right now. First, go to Amazon.sh and sign up for free. You can easily sign up using your Google account. Right after signing up, you will redirect it to this home page. Here you need to write your prompt. To write a perfect prompt, I am using ChatGBT. So let's ask ChatGBT that I want to create a portfolio website so give me a prompt to enter in a no-code app builder. I am a web developer with 7 years of industry experience, skilled in multiple programming language, especially in building full-stack applications using Munstack. Include some of my major projects, client testimonials and a service section showcasing all of my coding and mentorship offering. The website should support both dark and light modes. And here we go, ChatGPT gives us a detailed and professional prompt. It says to create a modern responsive portfolio website that highlights my Munstack experience. It also includes sections like hero section, about section, services, testimonials and more. And at the end, it even mentions that the website should be responsive and SEO optimized. So let's copy this prompt and paste it into Emergent and hit the generate button. Instantly, it starts building our app. Now Emergent is asking a few setup questions before it begins. The first question is about design style preference. Option A, minimal monochrome style. Option B, modern colorful design with gradients. Option C, professional blue theme. I think the modern colorful design with gradients fits perfectly for a portfolio website. So I'll go with option B. Next, it's asking about images and media whether it should generate its own or will provide them. Let's choose option A so it automatically generates the images for us. Then it asks for our name. We can write my name is Tharendra Kumar. It also asks whether to use real project descriptions or generate mock ones. Let's tell it to add mock descriptions for now. Lastly, it's asking about theme options. I'll go with the light mode as default theme and also add a toggle button for dark mode on off. Once we have answered everything, click send and now it starts implementing everything we selected. First it generates the images for our portfolio, then it begins building the complete website. Let's wait for a few minutes while it finishes. And here we go, our portfolio website is ready. It also gives us a note saying, the website currently uses mock data for demonstration purposes. All the interactive elements work only on the front end. That basically means that the data shown here like our projects or testimonials is just sample data and right now the website functions as a front end prototype. Then it encourages us to review and test this version and let it know if we want any design changes or if I should proceed with the backend development. So first, let's check how our website looks. I'll open it in a new tab. At the first glance, the website looks very professional and modern. In the nav bar, we have options like about, services, projects, testimonials and contact. And all of them have smooth hover effects. There's also a dark mode toggle and it works perfectly. The website actually looking even more elegant in dark mode. Right in the center, there's an availability status saying I am available for new projects. There are two buttons, view my work and hire me. Just below that, there are three stat boxes showing my experience, projects completed and number of clients. 
After the hero section, we have a clean minimalist about section. On the left, there's a photo which you can easily replace by simply uploading your own image and telling Amazon to update it. On the right side, there's a detailed about me description along with my technical skills. Next, there's a service section listing things like full stack web development, UI UX design and development, API integration and development, mentorship and consulting. Then comes to the project section. When I click on any project, it redirects to a demo link since we selected mock projects earlier. Below that we have a client testimonials followed by a contact form. Let's test the contact form. I'll type a message and click send. It shows message sent successfully. But since we haven't set any recipient email yet, we configure this part later. And at the bottom there's a footer. And when we click on any navbar menu, it smoothly scrolls to the respective section. Looks really clean. Overall, this portfolio website looks amazing and the best part Emergen built it in just a few minutes. Now let's test the responsiveness. And yes, it's fully responsive across all screen sizes, mobile, tablet and desktop. Now let's set custom links for our projects. For testing, I am adding Amazon.in as one of the project links. So I'll tell Emergent in the project section, when a user clicks on live demo, redirect them to this link. It processes the request and now it's asking us to test it. So let's check. Click on live demo and yes, it's working perfectly. And yeah, it's working for all the projects. Now let's configure the contract form to actually receive messages to our email. So I tell it, I want that when a user fill the contact form and press send message button, then its detail will become to my email address. Emergent replies, to implement email functionality, I need the following details. Your recipient email address, which email service to use, node mailer, send grid or others, your app password, email content format. So we can go with node mailer. So I need to provide my email address and password. And in just a few seconds, it updates the backend for our contact form. Now let's test it again, enter name, email, message and click send. It says message sent successfully. Now open the email, refresh it and here it is, the message from Thrender. So as you can see, Emergent just created a complete, functional and responsive portfolio website with all the working features. Now let's take it to the next level by creating a e-commerce website using Emergent. To do that, we first need a detailed prompt for our e-commerce website. And just like before, we will use ChatGBT to help us write the perfect prompt. So open ChatGBT and type here, I want to create an e-commerce website for my clothing brand Iron Clothes. I'm using a no-code app builder, so give me a prompt to enter. I want this website with both front-end and admin panel. And here we go, ChatGBT generated the perfect detailed prompt. So copy this prompt and go to Emergent and paste it over here. And click the send button. And instantly it start working on our app. Now it's asking for some details like payment integration. It's asking whether to use Stripe, PayPal or the other payment methods. So we can go with both Stripe and PayPal for payment integration. Next, it's asking for authentication method. We can set both email and passwords for now. And third, he asks for product images. So we can tell it to use placeholder images from web. And the last is admin access. So we can tell it to give us a default admin account. Now it will take some time to implement these things. So we can just wait. And the wait is over, our e-commerce website is ready. And it also gives us the email and password for the admin. So let's open it in a new tab and check it out. And wow, this is our beautiful e-commerce website. At the top, we have a clean navbar with options like home, shop, about and contact along with a search icon and a login button. In the hero section, we have a shop now button on the left and on the right there's a beautiful image that makes the website look modern and elegant. Now let's scroll down to the featured collections section. Here we can see some products with nice hover effects. 
scrolling further we have different categories like women collections men collections and accessories all with smooth hover animations then we have the new arrival section again designed beautifully with hover effects that make the ui feel premium and finally at the bottom there's a footer with a sign up now button all right now let's try to log in since we visiting for the first time we'll sign up first so i'll enter my details full name tharender kumar email test at the red gmail dot com and a password and click sign up now we are logged in let's check the profile section and here we have my profile for this e-commerce website everything looks great let's go back to home and click shop now yes it's take us directly to the products page here we can select a product choose the size m l x l pick up the color and set the quantity let's try adding it to the cart and yes it's working perfectly you can see the cart icon now it's showing 3 since we added three quantities of the shirt let's open the cart and here we have all the details of our selected product so our cart functionality is working perfectly now let's check the about section here it shows some details about our e-commerce brand iron clothes founded in 2025 along with a short description next in the contact us section we have fields for name email subject and message along with a send button just like in our portfolio website we can also connect an email here to receive form data directly in our inbox so as you can see this is a fully functional clean and modern e-commerce website created by amargent and it's look absolutely stunning now let's take this one step further we are going to create a stock market tracker mobile app using amargent just like before the first step is to write a perfect prompt so let's open the chat gpt and type i want to create a stock market tracker mobile app using a no code app builder the app should have include a clean and modern ui showing the live stock prices and it should includes features like watch list trending stocks and also add a section for latest financial news and chat gpt instantly generates a detailed prompt with all the features we need for our stock trading app let's copy this prompt and go back to amargent paste the prompt here and press the send button and just like that amargent starts working on our mobile app now it's asking for a stock market data api So we can use either Alpha Vantage or FinHub API keys for our stock market tracker app. Let's use FinHub. Search FinHub API on Google, open their website and click on get free API key. Copy your API key and paste it into Emergent. Next, it's asking for a financial news API key. For that, we can use newsapi.org. Again, search it on Google, click get API key. and once you have it copy and paste it into emergent now in the third step it's confirming whether we want to use our own api keys or just go with the mock data we already provided the keys so we'll continue with those and in the fourth step it's asking where to store the user data we can select save data locally on device only once all the details are filled in send this message to emergent and now it starts implementing everything it usually takes about 5 to 6 minutes so let's wait it to build the app and here we go our mobile app is ready to preview it click preview on mobile it shows a qr code to run this app we need to download the expo go app now you can see my phone screen you have to install this expo go app open it tap scan qr code and scan the code from emergent it starts bundling the project and here's our app ready to use the interface looks simple yet very clean and professional right here we have a list of live stocks along with their prices and changes we can even search for any stock and add it to our watch list and yes it's added successfully now let's check the trending section here we have top gainers top losers and most active stocks all updating live so the trending section worked flawlessly too next let's go to the news section here we can see the latest financial news from around the world click on any news and it redirects us to the full article that's awesome so yes our stock market tracker app is working perfectly 
and this is the power of emergent we just created a portfolio website an e-commerce website and now a stock market tracker app all using emergent without writing a single line of code and here's something even better we can get the complete source code for free just click on the code button and it gives us a vs code link along with the password copy the password click open in browser and enter the password and there it is our complete project source code ready to use in vs code we can even deploy the entire project with a single click just click on deploy and you can start the deployment in a single click that's how powerful and fast emergent is it builds full apps and websites in just minutes with zero coding if you want to try it out check the link in the description sign up and use your free credits and build something amazing and if you enjoyed this breakdown don't forget to like the video subscribe for more ai plus coding content and i'll see you in the next one